Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are back with Divide and Conquer Veil of Darwinian, episode 12. Now, I have a bit of a confession to make. I forgot to save the game last time. So, what I have done is I've watched the video back, and I've actually, if you can see, I've built exactly the same things. It brought me to the start of this turn rather than the end, the autosave. So I've pretty much done exactly the same thing. The only thing that I did slightly differently was that I auto-resolved this battle here. And you can see the auto-resolve was not hugely kind to us compared to, uh, compared to our manual battle. So maybe I should have manually done that. But apart from that, every single other thing is the same. Um, so that's quite good. Um, now, in terms of when we got to the end of the previous episode, we were going to send some boys back for retraining. And I think that's honestly a good idea, uh, especially the Avari Naharim. We can send them to Strondost. I believe we can train those guys in Strondost, can we not? Yes, we can. So Strondost is not that far away. Now, in terms of our plan, really, I think the best thing that we can do now, I know we're getting Thorn Barracks here, which is great. Uh, but I think the best thing we can do is actually build roads in Lest and Enmahath. Although it's going to take eight turns. So maybe the Master Mason's Hall first. But yeah, it's going to take eight turns. Just so that we can move our troops so much quicker down these roads uh, and to the front line. Of course, we've got Captain Holden on the way. We've also got uh, Captain Marhold over here with some pretty fat troops, honestly. Some pretty nice troops. So I think I will send these guys back for retraining. I know they've got to go quite a long way. And while we're at it, is there anyone we can, like, sort of combine? Yeah, you guys. Uh, well, you, I think it's 54. I think you'll be fine. Oh, no. It wasn't 54. Well, at least we've got a nice silver experienced horseman there now. So I'm thinking we send these guys up there. Probably you as well. We'll keep the elves because they're so strong. But it's only four units that will be going back for retraining. And they'll only go up to Strondos. It's not going to take too long. It looks like a long time, but it's fine. Um, you got to play tactically in this mod, don't you? But yeah, I think that's where we are right now. And we will move these troops next time. We're going to go straight up to Burr Alga rather than Brown Boat or anything like that. So I think Burr Alga's the option there. Now we have Edward in. I'm thinking if we just come up here, you can still make it back to Rawberg. Let's get a watchtower so we can just see a little bit more of our land just in case there's any armies up there. Rawberg is only a village. Uh, so I'm going to put it down to, to low tax rate. It's got a long way to go before it becomes a town or anything like that. So let's press the end turn. We're on turn 67 going into 68. I think we've done pretty well so far. Uh, we did get a bit overstretched at one point. And the Easterlings, of course, like we've said before, just somehow when they got to the, you know, the last few settlements became an absolute nuisance. They really fought back, which has been a pretty epic battle, to be honest. So hopefully we can destroy them in this end turn. Oh, they didn't attack. Well, that's very interesting. Uh, Mordor's gone for Enmahath, which we know uh, they would do. But I've got two armies kind of on the way to there, so that's fine. There's a lot of trade going between Enmahath and Mistrand, it looks like. That's pretty good. Love a bit of trade. Bit of trade for the boys. Let's go. Making some cash. Enmahath's actually a decent-ish settlement. So's Bert Emericus, 927 gold a turn. Now, we aren't making a huge amount of money. Now, that's the main issue that we kind of have. Only about 4,000 a turn. But we are taking more and more and more settlements. So, we've got to keep that going. Send Emissary to the Dominion of Isengard. Um, I mean, that's fine. Have we... Yeah, we've talked to these guys. Let's just, like... We can just take map information. We looked at Isengard last time. They're actually not doing too well. It looks like the uh, the good factions are generally doing better in this playthrough uh, than the bad ones. We are now the largest faction. Are you kidding me? Really? The largest faction. Bigger than Mordor. Bigger than Gondor. What has Gondor been doing? I can't remember the Toggle Fog of War, but they look pretty big still. Gondor is doing terrible then. Terrible. If we're the biggest faction, you've got to be kidding me. That's crazy. <laughs> that is ridiculous. 
So Karasant, we've now got a, uh, a a barracks, which is good. Actually get some high paladins to get a general. I think that's probably honestly worth it. Do you want to get the Avari barracks up here? Probably, but we need a bit more economy, don't we? That's quite a big jump in income. Probably about... So that's... Yeah, more than 100 there. And yeah, 70 there. Uh, yeah, so it's about 200 jumping income. So that'll pay for itself in uh, 10 turns. Enmahalf got the barracks. We can't quite afford the Thorn Armory just yet. Uh, how did Enma? Oh, because, yeah, because last turn they, uh, they seized it down last turn rather than anything. So let's get you down here. You're going to have to try and attack them. Same with you. I feel like we'll win that as well. If I join you up, there you are. You get in there. Uh, and that should be good. We're going to stay in Avalon's Rest for now because we don't have the troops to do anything else. You're coming across to Austin Erie to defend that. And if we attack Viltor now, will the second army come in? No, it won't. It won't. Wow. That is shocking, honestly. <laughs> shocking, shocking, shocking. So let's leave Rawberg for now. And it's... Oh, that was a wrong troop. Not them. These guys. There we are. This is a problem. We're not going to be able to really... Uh, uh, garrison a lot of these places without Carverad. Uh, so we need to send these boys up this way, hopefully away from this army. They have just about enough movement, but if we retreat from that, I think we'll be fine. So, let's go for Bur Alga. Which way is it going to go? It's going to go that way. That's fine, and we'll build a watchtower up here as well, so we've got a bit more vision along the border. You can go and join now as well. Fantastic. We've got some nice cavalry in this army now. Good. The only thing is Rawberg is so vulnerable, they can take it in one turn, uh, but that's fine. I I'm not too bothered by that. Uh, Carverad, is there anything we want to build in here? Potentially roads again, but we just don't have the economy to really account for that yet. So I'm thinking, potentially, let's have a look at Santan. We were building that, building that in Karasant. What do we want to build in Strondost? Anything? Thinking more like the port, or oh, we are building that in Mistrand. Lest, let's go for the chicken farming. Lest is pretty rich. So, the chicken farming should be quite a good little option. How long? 9,000 to get to a city level. That's a lot. A lot, 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 lot. So, yes. You've, you've moved. Right, let's do the Battle of Viltor then, guys. The Siege of Viltor with our kind of bedraggled and damaged army. But we're not far from Santanwi. So, once we've done this, we can send all the boys back for retraining in Santanwi. And, uh... Get rid of them. And this is the faction leader and the faction heir, both with massive bodyguards and only a single guy with crossbows. So I think we're going to try and do this with as many archers as we can, but we've only got two archers and no way. Um, so yeah, and then we'll use our mercenary, privateer, axemen and cavalry to do the rest so that we can retrain the rest of the boys. So that sounds good, but he's got some good command as well. So bold and confident in command, this man could lead an angry mob to conquer an empire. Well, he's not done that so far, has he? So we'll see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are, guys. We are on the battle map. And I'm very much hoping that they don't try and man the gates or anything like that. I think we'll send one of our vineyard levies to go knock down the gates. We'll also bring these guys here just in case, but I doubt we'll need to use them. These guys, honestly, I'm going to get them to run off the map. They don't need to be here. They need retraining ASAP. Uh, we do have some crossbowmen. So let's group those boys together. They can fire over there, as well as Norway, of course. Always the goat of these battles, to be honest. And, yeah, you guys can drop the ram. And we'll get the rest of these boys grouped up. And they can, uh, you know, wait here. Uh, mainly the Privateer Axeman is what we want to go for. And then the Cavalry, not that we're going to use you apart from the Privateer Cavalry. Here we go. Get the Privateer Cavalry a bit further forward and we'll be fine. Oh, they are. They are manning the gates. Um, but it looks like only Norway can fire right now. I'm wondering, best angle for Norway is probably here. So let's get Norway, like, around here, maybe. So get there, my friend. 
Same with you boys. If we can, you know, get you maybe over here. And of course, remember, if they aren't... If they are not by the towers, the towers won't fire, guys. So do remember that in med 2. They need to be near the towers for the towers to fire. Which is always good for us uh, when they run away. <laughs> Very nice indeed. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely going to be a bit of a bit of a, uh, a skirmish siege, should I say. Uh, we're going to use the Privateer Axeman, of course, like we said before. And we're going to use a Thorn Guard to kind of defend here while we fire at the enemy. Not too bothered about those Vineyard Levies. I uh, don't really want them in. Uh, so let's get the Privet... Where are they going? Interesting. Right, let's get the Privateer Axeman in. Let's also get this Thorn Guard off Phalanx and in as quick as possible. And then hopefully we can get the Archers in. They might actually reach the gates again before us. But we should be able to fire at them very soon. Our soldiers have proved their right. Today. Thorn Guard, get into Phalanx. Get here. Oh, look at that. Look at the arrows coming in. That's what we want to see. Privateer Axeman in there. And the arrows raining down fire upon them. Absolutely glorious. That's what we like to see, boys. Come on. The bodyguards are going to take ages to, to beat. But that's fine. Uh, where are my Privateer Cavalry? Let's get around there. If we can go and sandwich them, that would be amazing. I want you guys to come slightly forward. And then halt. Get in nice formation. Get your spear wall in, boys. Get your spear wall in. There we are. And the arrows are still kind of raining down. Not fantastically anymore, but it's fine. So let's... Okay. Yeah, let's go uh, Let's go charge that Daratai crossbowman. We should absolutely smash them to pieces. They will be rubbish. Problem is our charge is going to be rubbish as well because they're going round a corner, as you can see. It's not the greatest charge of all time. Uh... But it's fine. We should absolutely shred them with this cavalry. Then we can come behind and start shredding these guys. Final stand of the Easterlings, boys. The final stand. They have been a menace so far, haven't they? An absolute menace. Um, but yeah, we shall do what we need to do. I'm thinking about bringing Norway potentially in here to do any damage that he needs to. Um... You guys come back, and then what else do we have? We've got some swordsmen over here. We've got the vineyard levies, but they're obviously not going to be able to do any damage uh, to them whatsoever. Have we beat back the Daratai's yet? Very close to. Yep. Oh, just a bit of shredding going on over here now. I mean, no ways Moriquendi Sentinels should be able to beat these guys, but they look how many troops they've got left. I'm wondering if we get no way around the back. That'll be the, the play, probably. You guys come here. And then actually get the vineyard levies in to go and just take the town square. And then they, they only have two minutes. Is it ten minutes now on version five, though? I don't know. Can't remember. All right, let's get a charge, boys. This time it should be a better charge. That's not the greatest charge. You're still walking, boys. That is terrible. That's not a charge. That is 100% not a charge. That really was, was awful. Awful charging from the boys. Get you guys around here. Oh, you guys here. Let's go. Let's go. I think we need to run in with our Thorn Swordsman. Thorn Bladesman. Let's go. Yeah, it's a 12-minute timer. So... They're not going to be bothered by that, unless the AI is a bit dumb. That's a better charge, but it's not fantastic either. So, get here. And then, no way. I'm kind of wanting you to just get here and just fire into their back. That should really do some damage. You guys get there. And we'll, what we'll do is we'll, we'll kind of uh, go with a volley. Then we'll go with a, uh, with a charge. So, go fire in there, boys. Fire in. I'm not too bothered about friendly fire. I don't think there'll be that much of it from this position. Yes, nice. That's it. That's what we like to see. Couple of firing. Why are they going so slow? 
Are they running in slow motion? Like, what is that? So slow. That should really help out with our... Uh, uh, with this firing into them there. Right, now let's go for a charge. We'll get that volley off. Get the light of Elbereth. And then let's not fire anymore for a second until we've got the charge. That's really whittled them down. Look at that. Some great shots in there. Yeah, really, really whittled them down. Because the Thorn Bladesman and the, uh, the other guys are not the most fantastic in melee versus, say, these boys. So let's come back out. And then let's go for the ch uh, for the firing again. Fire away. Yeah, that's one of them dead. Good. That's one of the faction leader or the faction heir. But of course, it doesn't even matter. Yo, look at this. This is more effective than the charges. Just firing into the back of them. Look at that. Absolutely shredding them. Is that all that's left? You guys fight them. Kill the last two. No way, kill these guys. Nice. That's what we like to see. Yes, glorious victory. And that should be the end of the uh, Easterlings. And about equal losses. We actually lost slightly more. But that's very, very uh, good, I would say, fighting those two really large generals' bodyguards from them. I think that's pretty decent, to be honest. Uh, Thornguard doing well. Anyone, like... Casualties healed. Ah, oh, the Privateer Axemen. That's the one problem with sending them in first. They were the ones who got the healing, not any of the uh, retrainable guys. But I will see you back on the campaign map. Here we are, and Viltor is destroyed. Come on, we've taken it. The runes leader is dead, we know. Watch these guys turn to rebels, please. Yes, there we are. Nice. Easterlings of Rune finally are dead. Finally destroyed. Fantastic. That's like what we like to see. So what do we have in here? Master Mason's Hall. Very nice. And a trading post. And a barracks. So let's get that in there. It's still quite a bit of Northman culture as well. These guys can get retrained, but I don't know why we would do that. Just tick that now. Uh, where else? Do we want to build, say, a leather tanner? Oh, we don't have the ability to get that. Hmm. Whilst it's impossible to recruit new regional units outside of their homelands, it is possible to set up training and travel stations to arrange to bolster their numbers. These simple way stations provide that facility. Uh, for example, Fountain Guard come from Minas Tirith, but you will not be able to retrain them anywhere in East Gondor. The world regions are Angmar, Athedain, Cardlan. Rune. So I wonder what, what does that allow us to re recruit and retrain then? I don't know. I actually don't know. If anyone does know, let me down. Let me know down in the comments below. It's been a while since uh, I've done a Dorwinian campaign. Uh, but yeah, fantastic. We took this region. So let's go for our retraining round. Let's get all of these boys... Out back to Sant and we for retraining. So all of these guys, you guys as well. Um, I don't think we need to worry about the rebels because look how many cavalry we've got in here. That would absolutely shred the enemy. No matter you know our lack of infantry, it'll be fine. So these guys can go back for retraining to Sant and we. Anyone we want to train in Sant and we, we are retraining them so they can come up and fight. Oh, we do actually have the Avari Shadows, Avari Warriors. Let's get those guys all in there as well. We've got to get the Elves as soon as possible because yeah, their unit pool comes at maximum when they get one. So make sh making sure that we train them every time they become available uh, is the most efficient way of doing that. I know we need to focus on our economy a little bit as well, uh, but it's fine. It's fine. We've moved everyone else, haven't we? So let's smash that end turn again. Up to turn 69, which is uh, nice. Who's that ship? Is that a Dale ship or is that an Easterling ship? Because if it was an Easterling ship, we should have attacked it. But at least the port is uh, now um, open again. Ilanin is so poor. 159 a turn. And when we had it, 
It was making so much more money than that. But it had just been devastated by the, the war and the orcs, the horrible orcs that have come to fight us. So, yeah, I think uh, Ilanin's really taken a bit of a battering there, which is never good to see. Uh, but the more settlements we can get up the river, the richer and richer we'll become uh, when we get ports. We do need a port in Ilanin as well. Um, do you know what? Avalyn's Rest, let's just accept that now because it's getting annoying. Grim news have reached the ears of the Dunlendings for those who had hoped their city would be spared for the upcoming onslaught were wrong. Oh dear, dear, dear me. Dunlanders who were resisting have been killed with no mercy. Osgiliath's under attack again. I still can't believe that we are the largest faction. That just doesn't compute in my head at all. I'm tempted to build this way station, you know. And just see whether it gives us any more people to uh, train. Or is it just saying that we can retrain mercenaries here if we have it? But is there anything else we do really want? I mean, probably the leather worker in uh, Santanui so that we get some better armor. Brego. We got Brego over here now as well. Very nice. I'm tempted to get a high paladin in there as well. So we can get some more governors around the regions. Where do we not have a governor? We got Lest, Mistrand, Elgaia, Rubar, Wintirian Yar. We don't. So maybe Wintirian Yar. How long will it take you to get there? Oh, a long, long time. Well, I think we go to take you to Wintirian Yar. I know it's only uh, uh, a Motten Bailey, but, you know, over time, this region's going to become so rich. You can already see, oh, even though it's only a Motten Bailey, it's making 971. That's pretty tasty, I've got to say. Pretty tasty morsel of money for us. <laughs> tasty little morsel for us to consume. Yes. Right, let's build another watchtower in here. And let's go straight for Burr Alga. And then, now that we can see Burr Alga, let's come down to Brown Boat with our spy, or Trusture, as it's called now. Uh, and maybe actually go back up that way to just see whether they've managed to take any of this. Because if they have, we'll go and take it, because that'll be very nice for us indeed, uh, taking all that stuff. So, we're waiting in Viltor. Uh, you guys go into Austin Airy to defend in case the enemy comes. I think, honestly, I think they will uh, they will run away now. I don't think they'll go for the attack. I mean, it's only crossbowmen we've got in there, so that's never great. Um, let's see what we want to do with the rest of our money. Anything in Strondost? Nothing yet. I think we want to get a blacksmith in there, though, so let's smash that in. Uh, anything else? Leather worker. They do make a little bit of cash, the leather workers. But if there's anywhere that's got farms, that'd be fantastic. Carverad. Elanin. Oh, Elanin's building the port now. So that should really boost up the economy. How much is it saying? Yeah, it's not saying by much. But I am sure that it doesn't show everything. So... Let's just check this. So when next turn comes around, it's saying that we'll have trade of 185. But let's check it, because it might be true. Um, Austin Airy, anything to build here? Let's go for the grain exchange. 1,000 from Austin Airy is actually pretty good. Dorthalu, not so much. Uh, Varfest could really do with being taken back. And I think that's what we'll do once these guys have been retrained and we get the LV boys in here. Um, we'll bring them all back to Viltor, and we'll go down, take Varfest, and then we'll probably come along. I really don't want to sort of siege down the Black Gate just yet. I kind of want to focus more on Mordor. Uh, sorry, on Dolgador. So what I might do is this river, they can only, like, cross the river at certain points. So what I might do is just put port, uh, forts on both of these areas, and it'll just really slow them down, which should be good. For us. Ideally, we honestly need another army over in this region because this front is just so wide. We are basically at this point, you know, we have no natural barriers apart from this little river. We are Poland in World War II right now. Like, we have no natural barriers against the enemy that is coming towards us. And it's such a wide front as well that it's so hard to defend. So, yeah, we need to, uh, you know, find a way around that. And that potentially is 
having another army, um, <laughs> which, of course, always good fun. Uh, but we need our economy to build up a little bit. So, Avalyn's Rest, we've got Snarthak on the way. Big Snarthak! Sharthak, sorry. Oh, what a pretty boy as well. Um, but yeah, I think this army is not fantastic. But in a defensive siege, we should be fine-ish <laughs> against the enemy. So let's, uh, especially once we've got these guys down here as well. So let's press the end turn and let's see what happens. Where? Oh yeah, you you are garrisons. I think those Dolgador armies will retreat as soon as we attack Buralga. I think they'll go after Buralga instead. That would be a lot better because Rawberg is just really a terrible, terrible settlement because... It's so empty. Um, I'm hoping they won't attack Rawberg. They're attacking Austin Erie. That's fine. That's not exactly much of an army, is it, that we need to worry about? So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, they have attacked Rawberg. Just, just honestly, just fuck off, Dolgador. Stop being such a prick. Stop being such a prick. Come on. I'm literally going to siege down Burr Alga in a second. Oh, that's so annoying. Although, oh, we've got defenders. What do they have? i got a ballista. I mean, there's no chance we win this. I feel like there's more chance in the auto-resolve. Because it's an open settlement. The Westron defenders are not fantastic. The Maulers will absolutely ruin us. And their archers will as well. And the warg marauders will just destroy us. So I feel like we've got more of a chance auto-resolve. But no, clear defeat. Unfortunately. Oh, god damn. Rawberg is such a terrible, 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 terrible settlement. This is why we need more armies on this front. It is... It is so open. It is so, so, so open. I'm, I'm considering though... I'll, I'll still go for Burr Alga, I think. And then we'll come back. To go for Rawberg. I think that's the better option because... First of all, I don't want Dale to take Buralga. Ah! Hello, Rebels. I would, that's quite nice. I'd quite like the Rebels to attack us here. I don't mind that. Oh, why does it really want... Avalyn's Rest to have all these merchant things? It's not that rich of a place. Osgiliath is lost now. So, yeah, we got Rawberg and Austin Erie. Uh, Rawberg got occupied, of course, and Vildor as well. God damn it. Go away. <laughs> damn fools. Uh, Sigurd, Alwis. So, Wintiri and Yara got that. Ilanin. So, let's check this in Ilanin now. It might only have gone up to 185, but let's have a look. Um, yeah, see, it wasn't. It was wrong. It said 185 trade would go up to, but it's actually 259, which is quite a significant difference. What are you? Just a single ship. Well, I don't want you blockading anything. Uh, but that's fine for now. Let's get you across. Brego, you're going to go in there. Uh, and you can probably go and attack these guys. I'm wondering whether we, you know, bomb boat them by recruiting another army over here and bomb boating them. Uh, boat bo bomb boating. Boat bombing them. Let's come up this way. I don't want to get uh, attacked by any of their units. So let's go straight for Buralga. I mean, Rawberg is a shit settlement. So taking Buralga, which is a town, got a port, got everything else, is a lot, lot better than taking Rawberg. So Dale's up there. They've got nothing down in Trusture, or whatever you want to call it. I would call it Brown Boat. Um, and the uh, Old Forest Road is actually owned by the Elves. And it looks like they still own up here. So we don't need to go north from Buralga. We just need to go south. And we need to wipe out Rawberg and the this these sort of settlements. I think we'll go back to Rawberg because we need to take it. We don't want a big gap between our, <laughs> our lands, of course. So you get in there. We're starting to make a bit more cash now, aren't we? Can't actually retrain everyone all at once. Um, but that's fine. These guys will be done in one more turn. Anyone else worthy of recruitment? Turns until next available unit one. So we're going to be able to recruit them as well. So we are pretty much on the road to building a new army. We're building that blacksmith, but would it not be better to build the 
barracks. Why can I not build the barracks? What do we need for that level? Ah, uh, we're not at castle yet. How far until it becomes a castle? 6,000. Wow. So we're actually never going to be able to build them. Karasant, however, we, we can. Yeah, we will be able to because it's... Uh, I think it's... Is it a large town or a city? It's a large town. Ah, so we won't. So that, unfortunately, Santanui is the only place where we can actually recruit those really good units yet. Apart from Mornithel. So I wonder... Let's get Mornithel down to low tax rate as well. Let's uh, let's start building up Mornithel as a recruitment hub then as well. I think first things first though, let's build the Master Mason's Hall so it gets a lot quicker. Um, these guys, let's attack them. They're going to run away. What are they? What do they have? Oh dearie me, that's, that's some terrible, terrible troops that they've got there. So that's a pretty fat army as well. So let's go. Auto resolve. What? 324. You are kidding me. I don't know. I should not have auto resolved that then. But at least all these damaged ones are the ones that took all the damage. All the rest of them actually stayed pretty much intact. So the ones that were going back for retrading are the only ones that really need to go back for retrading. So <laughs> that's actually really worked out well for us there. Um, and my half, I think, honestly, I know it's a lot of money, but it's time to build that in. Unless, no, let's build the Master Mason's Hall there. Same with Lest when we can. Mataram, let's just build up the farming again. Uh, Mataram's actually quite rich. So is Enma half. Bert Emerikis, let's go for the chicken farming, I'd say, over there. And that's about as much as we can do. So we are sieged in a lot, 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 a lot of places. But and we're going to be sieged at Avalon's Rest next turn as well. But I'm I'm confident in our defence of all these places right now, to be honest. And we are building up another another army, so that should be pretty nice. These guys are going to join this army, but after that, we will all the rest of these guys are going to be. Um, oh, we've got to accept that. Uh, are going to be uh, part of a brand new army. Because, as I say, this front is just too large for us to defend with two armies. It's just so wide and flat with no barriers. So we really need to kind of, you know, build up a bit of a, a, a barrier. And I, I'm, I'm wondering, I'm thinking if we go with Norway sort of more northern, sort of in the middle... And then we go... Yeah, we, they've attacked us. We knew that was going to happen. And then that, that second army will go down south to Varfest and then go to the Black Gate. I'm wondering whether that's the best option. Because that'll be a pretty nice fat army full of elves. And who doesn't want to see elves sieging down the Black Gate? I certainly do. I certainly do. And a lot of those settlements right inside Mordor are very defensible. Very nice settlements. He's got two ballistas and some rams. Oh, this is actually going to be tougher than I expected. What's infantry, though? Just dragon guard. Yeah, the infantry is trash. So the general's the only thing to worry about. We've got some nice archers, of course. But we've got very little infantry. So we're going to have to really rely on our cavalry here. So this is going to be quite a nice little, uh, little battle. And I will see you there, guys. Here we are, guys. So let's start the deployment. Don't like the ballistas. Never really a fun unit to uh, fight against. I do like these little uh, bits here, though, because you can fire directly over the walls straight at the enemy. Um, and yeah, let's get these archers in here. Problem is, with these wooden walls, really hard to get any good firing arcs off. At the enemy so I'm wondering if we get you guys here as well if you will fit please oh, god come on come on pathing you can do it you can do it pathing I believe in you right we'll get them there for now uh, crossbowmen uh, crossbowmen yeah there's just not really anywhere where you'll be able to fire effectively at all because you fire in such a flat arc 
So let's get all those guys grouped up. And then we have these boys protecting them. Just go down here. It doesn't really matter too much. What the fuck is that? Okay, cool. And then all the cavalry, we will charge you out. We'll go probably destroy the ballistas if we can. Let's get there. Then you guys should be able to get in here now. Um... Uh, yeah, they're going to bring their ballistas forward first, but that's not going to do anything. I've just got to be wary with my cavalry that I don't lose too many of them to their own missile troops. Because these guys are going to be the key to winning this battle today. So speed it up. Yeah, I don't want to I don't want to deal with your ballistas. Where are they? Well, let's just go straight for the charge. They don't think they'll get too tired. I think they'll be okay. Let's go, boys. Straight into the ballista. Hopefully make them rout. Should be a big, big charge. Come on, kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. That was quite a nice charge. We are getting fired at now, which is not great. But if we can kill this ballista, I think it's worth it. They're still shaken. There, they've got hardly any men left. Who's firing at us, these guys? Let's go after them then. It's just two Daratai hunters in a row. And they got Baroon Riders as well, which are horse archers. But I think we should be able to absolutely shred these guys. Come on. Let's go, men. Big charge. Big charge. Big charge. Not the greatest of charges, but a charge nonetheless. Let's come forward. Let's get back into these guys. I'm not too bothered about the damage we're taking right now because... It's going to stop the ballistas and really just stop what they're doing. And I don't know whether the AI is going to be clever enough to do anything about it, honestly. Probably not. So that's them. That's them dead. That's them dead. Good. On to them. They've only got two men left, so I doubt they'll be able to do anything. The Daratai warriors seem to want to be able to come now. Well, let's get out. Let's get out. Probably not a great option to st stick around here while they're charging at us. <laughs> Speed that up. Get out, boys. Lost a lot of a lot of good cavalrymen in that charge. In those few charges. So let's get back. And if so, we can go back into the city. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, they're going with the ram now. They're going with the ram. They do have a lot, a lot of infantry. But course we'll get our cavalry out and we'll surround them at the gates when it gets around to it of course we've got Norway as well we've just got to get a bit of a morale shock so where is their general oh they've got cell swords as well oh god oh that's their general it's the cell swords there we are there he is so I'm kind of wanting to really charge in oh they're going for firing over this way that's that's really, really not something we want to happen. Norway's getting absolutely shredded. Norway could die here because of that. Yeah, let's get back. Let's get away from that. Norway could just die instantly on one of those shots. So I don't want that to happen at all. You guys get firing. We could actually lose this now, you know. This is a bit brutal. But luckily, we do have Norway, so that's one good thing. So, get firing now, Norway. Get the Light of Elbereth off. And... Who are these? Daratai Hunters. I mean, we do still have cavalry, and cavalry is so effective. And we are firing into these guys. Getting a lot of, a lot of firing off. I think we might lose here. I don't really don't want to lose Norway. Maybe I should have waited a bit to bring the cavalry out. We have a big lack of infantry. Norway's such a great guy. I, I don't want to lose him. Where are they firing? Well, they're actually firing straight over this way at the uh, hunters. That's okay. See, the problem is, if I get my cavalry out again, they're going to get attacked by these boys. Goddamn rebels, huh? The Easterlings just can't fucking give up, can they? Jesus Christ. 
So annoying. <laughs> Probably the most annoying nation I've ever fought in this game, man. So annoying. Getting stronger as they get weaker. It makes no sense. <laughs> oh, God. I am going to be salty now. If we lose this, I am going to be so, so salty. So unbelievably salty. We'll get in there. And just try and crush them. Don't let them through. Get on guard mode. That's not running either, guys. In case you didn't know. So now they're all running in. That's a good chance for us to bring our cavalry out again. And go after that ballista. And then also charge them in the back. Hopefully kill their general. That's the main thing. I think if we kill their general, we can win this battle. But if we can't kill their general, that's when I think we lose. Um, these guys still firing? Looks like they are. Good. They're firing like directly into the faces of these boys now. Which is always good. Right, cavalry. I know you are damaged. I know you are battered and bruised. But this is your opportunity, my friends. This is your opportunity. These guys are taking so much damage as well. Right, you guys get in. And then we'll charge their general as well and try and kill him. So let's go after the ballista. Where is the general? I mean, he's just in the middle of here somewhere. I mean, if we can kill him, that's the main thing. Uh, I kind of want the crossbows on the side, but I doubt we'll be able to do that. I'm hoping they, they kill their own men with some of this. <laughs> that would be quite funny. Yeah, fire in, the, fire in this block here. You've got to get some good kills off with this. Look at that. Firing right in there. They've got so many men, though. We've killed a lot of them, but they have so many. That's the main problem. Fire at them. Oh, yeah, that's the general. Just fire at them. Come on. If we can make them rout, that would be great. Come on. Kill them, you fools. You are so slow. I should be able to... No way should beat these guys quite, quite effectively. Come on. It's, it says it's in our favor, but I, I doubt it. We've only got these guys left. If you guys just charge in. What do we have? Yeah, where is the actual general? He's in gold. So, right. Charge in and kill him. I think, no way. You need... This is your chance to kill this guy. There he is. Don't think he'll be too good. Right. Now out. Out, men. Out. Let's come over this way. All the way over here, if you can. How are the men doing? Not fantastically well, really. <laughs> but Norway, if we can kill that jet... Well, there he is. He's actually one on one with Norway. Come on, man. Come on, Norway. Kill him. Stab him in the back. Is he one on one with Norway? No, Norway should be on the left-hand side. Oh, no, Norway's over there. <laughs> well... He's getting absolutely surrounded. He's surrounded now, though. That's excellent. Excellent news. Right. Let me just pause. Who are these guys? What are their... What's their melee? Four and six. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, these guys need to charge in anyway. Because they've got no ammo left. You guys keep firing. You're not the best at firing, are you? Very well. That's kind of in the way of your charge, guys. So I don't know whether you're going to be able to do much. They're shaken. They're shaken. They're wavering. Come on. Big charge. Big charge. Right in the back of there. Well, I don't think that's going to do much more. So let's get back over this way. Come on, Norway. This is your time, man. How many hit points does this guy have? He's literally surrounded, bro. He's literally surrounded. So keep firing. Keep firing, boys. Fire and wave, boys. Fire and wave. I think the ballistas are dead now. No? Well, really? Come on, ballista. Don't be such a fool. You're just inviting yourselves to get stabbed to death. And the cell swords are down a lot of men. But as soon as that general dies, I think a big charge from the cav. And we will have won. 
Come on, these guys have got to go now, surely. Surely. The good thing with a rebel army is once you've defeated it one skies as well, remember that it, it will die. It will die completely if you just defeat it once. I'm pretty sure it's still the same in Divide and Conquer. It's definitely that in Vanilla. But yeah, once you've defeated a rebel army, you don't need to kill 85%. Although we are close to killing 85% now. <laughs> so that's quite good. I mean, a lot of these guys are missile men. So I'm not too bothered about that. Keep firing into them and we'll kind of go for a bit of a charge through the gates and see what we can do how long is this general gonna survive bro finally jesus christ that was an absolute absolute uh disaster really now let's get a get our charge route took it took us ages to kill him if we can mass route these boys that'd be great there we are that's what we like to see straight in there these guys are still eager though don't want to... doesn't matter. They just need to rout. That's fine. You guys come out. We don't want them in there fighting to the death. So you guys get there. We'll have you boys here as well. And then... You guys fire at them. Uh, no way. Fire at them as well. Let's get Light of Elbereth off. I don't know what they're doing. They're already shaken. So... Just go for the charge. Hopefully, they'll rout him. Let's see. Oh, that was... Now, that's a good charge. That's... Yeah, there we are. Oh, that was closer than I thought. But we did absolutely shred that rebel army. Wow. Bowman doing well. Bowman. Moriquendi Sentinels doing fantastically. Privateer Axemen, fair play to them. Some really good fighting there. Now, how much we need to retrain these guys, I don't know. I guess we'll see. So, I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Glory! Bloody rebel fleets. No! <laughs> uh, just stop with this. No, I don't want that. That's... The annoying thing with that is it won't come back up now for a while. But I really just don't want it in Avalyn's Rest. It's stupid. Why? Why would I want it in Avalyn's Rest? Uh... I mean, don't retrain those guys. You can't. Avari Metalwork. Nice. Nice. Well, we kind of need to get some of these troops back as soon as possible. Let's recruit these boys. I'd rather get them recruiting straight away because they are three-turn recruitment guys. And, yeah, once that those two are done, these guys should retrain in one turn. That's fantastic. Strondos, do we have anyone to re to train? No, not really. Uh, we're getting a high paladin over here as well. I'm wondering, do we go for another couple of Thor? We'll go for another Thorn Rider here for the extra cavalry. Uh, Mistrand got a port now, so it should be. Oh wow, that has catapulted its income. The same with the trading plaza. If we can get that. Another 200 plus another 80. So it's about another 300 gold that that's going to bring. Oh, that's pretty nice. How about the chicken farming, though? That's just another 40. Merchant's Wharf? What's that going to do? That's quite good as well. Another 300, but it's cheaper. So let's go for that instead. Mistrand is going to become a rich, 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 rich settlement. Elgaya is ready to upgrade. Good. We'll get that in now. So that'll become a castle. Nice. Uh, and then Santan, we we got some warriors. Good. And Frode here, that sort of thing. Really nice. Uh, now I'm just worried that this army will have a ballista, but I think, yeah, I think we can beat it, uh, just like we did last time. So let's go Burr Alga, but let's let's wait a second to do that fight. I want to kind of take a uh, um, uh, an outside battle rather than assaulting the city. I think that'd be a lot better for us. It looks like they're going after Dorthaloo now. God damn, I hate you, Mordor. I really do hate you. You're a horrible, horrible bastard. Uh, right, let's get these guys coming down here. Still, this is going to be quite. A dangerous battle, really. It's going to be harder than you expect. I know it's only Mordor troops, but yeah, it's going to be quite hard, I would say. Right, let's have a look. Where else can we build? 
So we can build in a burka. I mean, there's nothing there that's going to be worthwhile. Carver had, however, let's go for a building there, and that'll be enough. Well, I think we're going to end that there, guys. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.